Hi, my name is Jason from Alloy Telesis. Today I'll be showing you how to tune Vera PV3 and Alloy Plus for the purposes of achieving faster network recovery in the event of a failure. To show the speed of Vera PV3 failover, we have our laptop playing a unicast video uh, in conjunction with two X908s acting as the Vera PV3 master and the backup. Now I will show you how to configure Vera PV3 and tune it in Alloy Web Plus. We will begin by logging in and entering the global configuration mode. Here we start the VRPV3 process. We begin by specifying the IPv6 address family, the virtual router identifier, and the layer 3 interface used by the virtual router. Under the VRPV3 configuration mode, we need to specify the virtual IPv6 link local address of the virtual router. This will be used as the gateway for devices on the same LAN segment in our topology. I'm also going to manually specify a priority value the default in VRPV3 is 100, but for this network I'm going to set the first X908 as the master. Um, to do this I'll set the priority value as 150 because the highest priority value will win the VRPV3 election. Also in VRPV3 we can specify a upstream interface to track. If interface VLAN 30 goes down, VRPV3 will decrement the priority by the priority delta value specified. Next I will adjust the advertisement interval. By default the master will send a Vera PV3 advertisement every second. Alloy Plus supports an advertisement interval as low as 1 centisecond, which is 10 milliseconds. If the backup router does not receive an advertisement in 3 times the advertisement interval, or 3 centiseconds, then it will become the master. Finally I will enable the Vera PV3 session. The backup router is already configured, and we should see the switch we just configured become the master. Okay, for the third and final part of the video, we'll perform a demonstration of Vera PV3 failover using these two 908s here. Uh, for an accurate test, there is no video caching on the VLC player on the laptop here. Uh, any traffic disruptions will be visible on the screen. Um, now we'll go and pull the uh, power on the Vera PV3 master and let's see what happens. So as you can see, there was minimal disruption using Vera PV3 and Alloy Plus.